the front bench's own amendment um, puts the option of a second referendum on a table. Um, but recently, your party chairman, Ian Lavery, uh, has said that asking the voters to vote again on an issue they've already given an answer on until they come up with the right answer risks serious damage to the relationship between many citizens and politicians at Westminster. So I'm interested in your own view on this. What do you think having a second referendum or Labour backing a second referendum would do to democracy? Well, our conference motion was very clear and we said we wouldn't rule that out. But let me be clear. I think that if we end up in a second referendum, then us as politicians has failed the public. We failed to be able to do our job. I will see that as a really difficult situation for us all to be in. I don't think people want to see a delay in Article 50. I don't think people want to see us in a second referendum. They want to see parliamentarians working together to carry out what happened in the result of the referendum to get the best possible deal we can for Britain moving forward. And the only way we can do that next week is by Theresa May actually genuinely working across across Parliament and looking at her red lines and seeing how she can build that consensus. I still think that can happen, but Theresa May has to be willing to put her own views aside and to work with Parliament. And for the last two and a half years, unfortunately, she's not been willing to do that. I hope she does now, next week.